How's everybody doing today? What a beautiful day. Thank you for coming up here to Adams Pack Station. I've been here before, but just once. And uh, this is wonderful. It's beautiful. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. That's something we can all say that we do have in common. Say hello to the goats. Yeah. Who else is behind me here? And uh, I think we've got some some rough-looking blue jays and uh, some friendly-looking chickens. Might be the best crowd I get all year. The mules are back there. The mules. Okay. Now we're really talking. There's a sign out on the highway Out where the interstate begins You can see which way you're going But not where the journey ends They say that love should last a lifetime And I always wished I could agree Seems like the worst I could imagine Has got the best of you and me But there ain't no good time for leaving There ain't no good time for goodbyes Seems like the past keeps on repeating I think it's time we realize We're not the best thing for It's so hard to let love die There ain't no good time for leaving There ain't no good time for goodbye You keep your job and the apartment I'll take the car and cigarettes Please don't tell me what you're some things are better left unsaid Though I don't know my destination And I can't say the reason why but Don't look to me for consolation I couldn't give you a reply No, there ain't no good time for leaving There ain't no good time for Seems like the past keeps on repeating I think it's time we realize We're not the best thing for each other But it's so hard to let love die Though there ain't no good time for me There ain't no good time for Good time for goodbyes Seems like the past keeps on repeating I think it's time we realize We're not the best thing for each other But it's so hard to let love die There ain't no good time for me There ain't no good time for goodbyes there ain't no good time for me There ain't no good time for goodbye yeah. Thank you very much I'll do a little, uh, this song features uh, my attempt at a little Doc Watson style guitar playing. My attempt, I say. My attempt at a little bit of Jimmy Rogers style yodeling. It looks like a good setting for yodeling. We'll see what the mules have to say about that. <laughs> Cornbread in a 
kitchen, the peaches hanging in the tree. Yeah, but your sweet jelly roll needs some honey from his sugar baby. ago. Pretty amazing. Ten days on the train. Music on the train. Music off the train with a great, amazing bunch of artists. I'll do a song now that I wrote about a train trip many, many years ago that I took many years ago. When I was a much, much younger man, I was thinking about this trip a couple of years ago when I started to write this song. I wrote from Mexicali, Mexico, south into, Mex deep into Mexico. It was a kind of, it was an amazing trip for me at the time, first time I had been anywhere like that, seen a lot of things, old, old train cars that have been decommissioned here in the States that were sent down to Mexico to live out their railroad days, not much work, uh, windows didn't work, there was no facilities on the train, but uh, it was an amazing trip anyhow, I learned a lot, and uh, one of the things I learned, I was a broken hearted kid at the time, and uh, the things I found out is that uh, you don't leave your uh, heartaches behind. They kind of tend to travel with you like an unwelcome companion. This is called Mexicali Train. Mexicali train. Well, 
I stumbled off the bus through the crowded streets when looking for a sign. Past the old man and the vendors, the women who keep giving me the eye. Well, if you ever really love me, now it's only just the memories that remain. From the station to the platform, I step onto the Mexicali train. Mexicali down to Guaymas, the dusty streets of Ciudad Obregón. Yeah, chickens, dogs, and children running through the car like something's going on. still drift across these open plains as I struggle with the ghosts and follow me onto this Mexicali train lost in time by now the car is empty just some low and dirty voices from behind well, if they thought to try and take me soon enough they see their plan is all in vain because I'm just another homeless soul riding on the Mexicali train in the darkness and the loneliness, your memory keeps filling up my mind. You taste your smell and all those tender nights are just so hard to leave behind. I wonder if I ever can forget or ever love someone again. Try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train. And at the station in Tequala, the morning sun is blazing in the sky. The train is filling up with calls of buenos dias and goodbye. The voice of Castaneda echoes out among the calls like a refrain Once again I'll try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train and Once again I'll try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train that I saw on the train on the Mexicali train was um, uh, there were no services or anything on board but at every stop women would get on and they would walk up and down the aisles with uh, um, big trays of tamales and fruit and other things and you could get plenty to eat and they would ride to the next stop get off and ride the next train back to where they had been. Also, one of the things I saw was a, a, a young man and, a, and like his younger sidekick or something walking the aisles of the train and he was playing guitar and it was maybe the crudest instrument I'd ever seen. It just almost looked homemade. The strings were just very, very high off the fingerboard making it very difficult to play. And he just played amazingly. He played beautifully. He never missed a note. His little sidekick played a little, a little bit of percussion with him. And I thought, well, I'm never going to be able to complain about my instrument ever again now. 
This is a song about uh, an old hotel in uh, Boyle Heights. It came to be known as the Mariachi Hotel because for many, many years, mariachi musicians from Mexico would travel up to Southern California for work, and a lot of them would gravitate there. They would know someone there. It was a friendly place. And over a period of time, it came to be a hotel full of mariachi musicians. Kind of an amazing thing. And if you wanted to hire a mariachi band, that was a place to do it. You could go there. They were all standing outside. And uh, one of the things these guys, this kind of tells their story, and one of the things in the story that uh, it talks about is a lot of these guys would uh, adopt a new name, a new identity for themselves, kind of when they came up here. Usually something fantastic sounding like the falcon or the dragon. This is called the Mariachi Hotel. Sinking so fast, it's a story she knows all too well. El Garabo said things aren't so good. His trumpet. His battered hand wall. He left for one year. He must convalesce. His battle with liquor is still strong. But the iguana is back. And he's here on these streets where his father once taught him so well. And Cecilia, she cried. Like a babe in the night For the souls of the mighty
do a song that's a favorite songwriter of mine, Kate Wolf, wrote this song. This is a wonderful song. It's got everything. It's got mountains. It's got rivers. It's got uh, prairies. It's got tragedy. It's got comedy. <laughs> It's a little light on the comedy, actually. This is called The Streets of Calgary. There's a bad storm moving in across the prairie sky. Clouds roll like thunder, lightning splits the night. I'm alone with your memory, the darkness and the pain. The trees are trembling in the wind, I can hear the falling rain. And oh, sweet Maggie Lee, do you remember me? I used to be your sweetheart out by the rolling sea. When I came here to this prairie town, the stakes were running high. But now the boom's gone bust, the work's played out, and money's running dry. See, every day I walk the banks of the ice-fed river bow. I watch the river running east, that's where I'd like to go. I've seen the streets of Calgary and I've known the prairie skies And I made and lost a fortune since I left and made you cry Now I wonder why stayed we might have settled down but the western plains they called to me and they took me from your town and there's not a thing that i can do to stop the falling rain but if ever i can find a way i'll hold you once again so every day i walk the banks of the ice-fed river boat i watch the river Running east, that's where I'd like to go. I've seen the streets of Calgary and I've known the prairie skies. And I made and lost a fortune since I left and made you cry. Now I wonder why. See, every day I walk the banks of the ice fed river boat. I watch the river. Running east, that's where I'd like to go. I've seen the streets of Calgary and I've known the prairie sky. And I made and lost a fortune since I left and made you cry. Now I wonder why. Thank you very much. I'll do a few songs about San Bernardino. San Bernardino is where I grew up. I live in Covina now. Sometimes I tell some, when I travel sometimes I tell stories about Covina. Try and give people an idea of where I live and uh, I was in the UK last year and I was telling people, well, it's about 20 miles east of Pasadena, you know, the Rose Parade, and Rose Bowl and everything. And a friend of mine over there said, that doesn't mean anything to anybody. Say Pasadena where the Big Bang Theory is. He says, they'll get it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll tell people though that within walking distance of my house are three gun stores, two psychic readers and a giant discount Book, uh, Christian bookstore. Yeah. And I'm not sure what kind of impression that gives them. Like 
like I said, I grew up in San Bernardino, and at the time and when I was younger and I was trying to figure out how to do this sort of thing, there was a couple there at the time, a fellow by the name of Jim Ringer and his partner Mary McCaslin. Yeah. Yeah, Jim and, Jim and Mary. So they had uh, they had albums out, they toured, and they were on the folk music radio program out there. And there was a little place that we played out there, the Penny University. I played the open mic nights there. Of course, they played uh, regular shows on the weekends. And so they were kind of heroes to a lot of us. <laughs> trying to figure out how to do this kind of thing. And uh, I made an album a few years ago with my friend Brantley Kearns. And uh, I included a couple of songs of theirs. A song from Jim, which is called Rachel. Lovely song about uh, first love. And a song from Mary called The San Bernardino Waltz, which is kind of kind of beautiful and heartbreaking to me. So, When I was young You should have heard the love songs That I sung You should have heard the way we talk Walking by the stream Barefoot through the meadow By the lazy San Joaquin Rachel was a melody That I first learned to sing the sorceress just barely in her teens A skinny dip inside to see with freckles everywhere A plain faded hand-me-down with wildflowers in her hair She had a way of saying this was never gonna end Good night like a lover, good morning like a friend Story. The first girl that I ever loved, the first lie that I told. Seen as the most wanted man. I'm not 
not ready to change partners again for the San Bernardino Wars. I feel like an outlaw in town. The way my name keeps going round, my ears have grown tired of the sound of the San Bernardino Wars. That hide all the mountains so high. Farewell to them all standing by in the San Bernardino walls. The San Bernardino walls. Jim Ringer and Mary McCaslin. Thank you very much. I'll do another song, one more song about San Bernardino. Even though we moved around a lot when I was a kid, my dad was in the service. San Bernardino has kind of come to represent a hometown uh, to me in a lot of ways, maybe for the time of my life when I was growing up there, but also was the last place that my family that I grew up with was all in one place at one time. My wife's family is still mostly out there. And it's gotten, uh, the area, San Bernardino, as I'm sure you probably know, has gotten kind of beat up over the over my life, don't last 20 or 30 years. Um, economically, fires, wildfires, just all kinds of things, and it's kind of very heartbreaking to me. Think about what it was like when I was a kid there. There was orange groves like there was everywhere here in Southern California. Citrus groves is where I learned to smoke cigarettes and go drink beer at night. <laughs> try, and, uh, try and get along with girls, do my best. And, uh, um, uh, you know, it's beautiful in the wintertime, surrounded by mountains, covered with snow when it wasn't covered with smog. So. I try and think about the good things. This is a song called Sweet Bernadine. It's the title track of my uh, latest album. Uh, saint Bernadine is the patron saint of San Bernardino. And uh, from all stories, he was kind of a hapless fellow. Nobody's quite sure how he became a saint, but uh, he's our saint nonetheless. This is called Sweet Bernadine.
It's hard luck living in a hard luck town. They say everywhere you go, people shake their heads. It's hard not to think that you'd be better off dead. Oh, sweet Bernadette. How are we doing with the goats back here? They're enjoying it. That's good. I have this feeling I'm going to feel one kind of coming up behind me. But... <laughs> Too good. <laughs> I think I got time for a couple of more songs. It's Mother's Day, and my lovely wife Susie is to uh, come along with me today, so I'm going to sing a song that I wrote about her. This is, uh, this is a song about her family. It's called Sweet Little Pocha. Pocha is kind of a, a term of uh, endearment, sort of uh, Mexican, Latina gal. It's a little more Americanized, not so traditional, I guess. But uh, her family has just always been so much more interesting to me than my family. They're just, they're amazing. She knows second and third cousins. She knows everything about them. You know, we're kind of the lost part of the tribe, but my dad's part of the family. The rest of them in New England just, they gave up on us a lifetime ago. They don't even know if we're alive. <laughs> so most of this is true. I, I, uh, Rosie Flores, my friend Rosie Flores, kind of helped me with this song. She was very encouraging. And... I'm kind of hesitating here, trying to remember the words. This is called Sweet Little Poach. Sunny little smile, a wrinkle on her chin. Sexy little giggle, it puts me in a spin. She listens to her mother talking Spanish, but she'll never reply. She's quick to change her story if you catch her in a bind. Sweeter than a cupcake till you step over the line. Raspas from the freezer for the kids on the 4th of July. She knows every single cousin and every birthday. All the old stories and how they used to play. Everybody loves to see her. She always brings a kiss and a smile. She's a perfect little blossom from a perfect little bud. A crazy little angel straight from heaven above. She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love. Before you even blink Helps a mama sell tamales And fortunes at a table outside She loves the Gary Cooper And Hedy Lamar Every old film And every old star She cries when she hears a mighty ashes, But I never know why She can start to get a little bit jealous When she gets a little look in her eyes Start to think about what I did Start to looking for a place to hide She's a perfect little blossom from a perfect little bud A crazy little angel straight from heaven above She's my sweet little poacher The only girl that I'll ever love Shorties oh, for breakfast, salsa in a cup Homemade tortillas, I can never get enough She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love She's my 
sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love. She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love. Well, thank you for having me up here. Thank you to Terry, and uh, uh, let's hear it for Terry and the Cactus Jam. Great band, played wonderful. I guess we're going to play again a little bit later. My friend Cliff Wagner is coming up next. My favorite bluegrass singer, banjo player, fiddle player, all-around great guy. And uh, let's hear it for Sam, who's doing sound. He's cooking, he's parking cars. I think he's leading a couple of nature hikes. I'm not sure what else. Great job, Sam. Thank you very much. I'll do one more song here. This is a, another song that comes from the family here, my wife's side. As I said, they're far more interesting. This is... Uh, I used to hear my uh, father-in-law, when he came over, use this phrase from time to time. Like a lot of families, they spoke Spanish to each other and not so much to the kids. And uh, when they would come over, he and his wife, my mother-in-law, they would speak Spanish to each other. And I'd hear him use this phrase from time to time. Que mas quieres? Que mas puedo hacer? It means, what more do you want? What else can I do? And it seemed like wise words for a married man to learn in any language. So now you know the chorus, please feel free to sing along. This is K Mask yet. I 
said, let me prove that I love you. Let me prove that I care. Again, thank you to everybody at Adam's Back Station. If you'd like to take any of these songs or music home with you, my wife has got the little CD bag and I'll be over there in just a few minutes uh, and stick around for my good friend, Mr. Cliff Wagner.